It's time to do this. It's time to do that. But what time is it? Flick is pretty tall. He can stand up straight and touch the numbers around the watch. He will count the minutes. Flack is his younger sister, and she is in charge of the hours. Let's get going. It's time to learn to tell the time. At 7 o'clock, it's time for Flick and Flack to get up. No time to lose. It's half past 7 and time to eat up the last mouthful of breakfast. At 8.15, Flick and Flack rush into school. The clock is ticking and lessons will start in a minute. By 9 o'clock, Flick and Flack are working hard, learning lots of new things. They can already tell the time, which is very good, because then they know it's time to go home at 12.30. Grown-ups always say time flies, especially when it's playtime. Flack is standing at 3, and Flick has his hands on the 12. That means it's 3 o'clock already. At 7 o'clock, it's time for dinner, and Flick and Flack are starving. What's in the oven? Half past 8 already. Flick and Flack know exactly how long a minute is, and clean teeth need 3 minutes of brushing. At 9 o'clock, Flick and Flack are fast asleep. Finally, it's time to dream. Flick and Flack have been helping teach kids all over the world how to tell time since 1987. Being on time is fun, unless it's bedtime, of course. Sweet dreams.